Hello, singers! Today we are going to read O del mio dolce ardor as if we were speaking Italian. Okay, let's try with the uh, first O. O! This is an open O. O! It's a surprise O. O! <laughs> del mio dolce ardor. Careful! We have plenty of these here. So, o, del, del, you do it. Mio, dolce. This word means sweet. Dolce, dolce, dolce. Okay, this is a... a we have two C's in Italian. One is K, K, K. The other one is Ch, Ch, Ch. In this case, this C in the middle of the word dolce so is, uh, sounds Ch, 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 Dol, Ch. So be careful with the D, first of all. It's not a D, D, it's a D, 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 D. Dol, Ch. Closed E. Dolce. All right. O del mio dolce ardor. Here we have the Italian A. 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 Wide open. A. The one and only sound of the A in Italian is A. 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 Like just. A. A. Ar. Let's practice the R. Well, that's easy because when you say R, you already say the A, the A, sorry, that is perfect for ardor, ardor, ardor. All right, so we just use this. But careful, you don't have to say ardor, ardor, that's ardor, ar. Dor. If it is too hard to pronounce all the consonants uh, at once, just breathe between the syllables. Ar, dor. Do it again. Ar, dor. Okay, we have a, a sounding R at the end of the word. Careful, we cannot uh, erase consonants or letters at the end of a sentence or of a verse of course or of a word because it makes the meaning impossible to be to be to be understood so let's pronounce properly so oh this is the surprise oh 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 del mio dolce ardor bramato getto bramato getto Laura, che tu respiri al fin respiro. This is the all sentence, and this is the way it should be read. Okay, so let's try it. Um, so we were saying, Oh, del mio dolce ardor. Articulate, okay, articulate. Del mio dolce ardor. Bramato, bramato, bra, ma, ma, bramato. Careful with the T, it's not bramato, it's bramato. Okay, bramato. Closed, o, 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 i. Bramato. Oggetto. Here you have two doubles, double G and double T. So anytime you have a double G, oggetto. This is quite, <gasps> you know, um, because you have to wait. You cannot pronounce it right away. 
Ojeto, Ojeto, it's not right. So you have to wait. You have to start with the O, then think of the J and prepare your mouth as if you were already pronouncing it, but you don't. So you just keep it way, uh, keep it here, waiting. O, J, to. <laughs> so you think of the G before the vowels, before pronouncing it, and you wait. Then after the E or J, then you think of the T, T, careful, it's not a T, it's a T, 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 and then you pronounce it afterwards, like after a while of silence, of suspense. So it's kind of a suspense sound, you know? Oggetto, you have this sound, this kind of anticipation of the G, which you, which, which you are not uh, really pronouncing. So, Ogge, Ogge, Ogge. To, to, so, the old word sounds like this, oggetto, you try, again, oggetto, you try. So, the funny thing now is that we have to pronounce bramato getto, the magic is done, the two words become one. And we pronounce just one O. So, bramato getto. This is the spoken language, okay? Bramato getto. You do it. Bramato getto. Bramato getto. Just feel the rhythm. Bramato getto. Okay, bramato getto. With me. Okay. Laura, che tu respiri. So many R's here. Ready? Laura. This is not Laura. This is not uh, the A and the U are not together. They not sound like O, like an O. They are pronounced letter by letter. So, the Aura, the aura. So the L is the 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 article. The, so Laura. Even the name Laura in Italian we pronounce it Laura. Okay, with the U U, the same old monkey sound. U U U U. Laura. All right, l, l, no back L. Laura doesn't exist. Laura, okay. K, K, C, H has this sound in Italian. C, H, E is K, K, K. So we say it. K, 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 K. Tu, you, tu. Careful with the T, don't say tu, tu. It's not like... It's not that. Two in Italian si sounds like a, um, the T when it is used um, your way when you speak Italian sounds many times like a C for us. So it can change the meaning of the word. So be careful because it's uh, hard to understand. Hmm? Laura che tu respiri. Res it's not res, res, peri, or, or other, respiri. So it's quite, uh, quite complicated for the tongue to do all this work because we have Laura che tu. So here we have to do it slightly, a little bit, just a little bit. It's not. So we are working a lot with the tongue in order to pronounce the R's, but we have to be careful when we do the T. So, Laura che tu respiri. Okay, try. Laura che tu respiri. Okay. Al fin, al fin, eventually. Al fin, try, al fin, 
al fin respiro. So, the other words was respiri because you breathe, tu respiri in Italian. Careful, it's different. So, tu respiri means you breathe, while io respiro means I breathe. So, it sounds different in the end of the word. So, you have to pronounce it properly because it's it, the, obvi uh, sorry, obviously the, um, the meaning changes. So, Laura che tu respiri, al fin respiro. Again. Oh, del mio dolce ardor, you. Bramato getto. Laura che tu respiri, al fin respiro. Ok. Ovunque, ovunque, ovunque. Everywhere. This word means everywhere. Ovunque. O, v, v. The same V as vanish. V, V, V. Same sound. Like F. It's the same sound. This is quite easy, you know. So, o, vung, vung. With, it's not ovanki. Like, it could be, I don't know, I've never heard that. But maybe somebody could read it and say, ovanki, something like that. It's o, v, always the monkey sound. U, 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 o, vung. Mm, mm, mm. In this case, the N is not ovunque, ovunque, it's not like that. And don't mix uh, Italian with Spanish, because uh, in Spanish, if you, if you read, I know that many people speak Spanish, and so I'm just underlining this, because Spanish and Italian are quite similar as, as languages and as pronunciation, you know? That's quite good, but in this case it can confuse a little bit. So, I'm underlining this. Ovunque. It ends with the uh, syllable Q, U, E. In Spanish you would say it Que. While in Italian you have to say Que. Que. Hmm? While our sound for Que is the other one. C-H-E. Okay? Que. Alright? So, ovunque. If you have a U and a Q and in the middle a N, like in this case, you cannot say ovunque. It would be impossible to pronounce and very slow. It was slow the pronunciation. So we have to say it as a nasal. Ovunque, ovunque. Can you hear? Ovunque. Try. Ovunque. And the stress is on the U. Ovunque. Ovunque. Very good. Ovunque il guardo io giro. Okay? Ovunque, everywhere I look. <laughs> it means like this. So everywhere I look, it's ovunque il guardo. This is ancient Italian. It's not, we're not saying il guardo. Never say that. It would be very funny. But in this case, it's very beautiful. And so, ovunque il guardo io giro. I turn my look around, literally translated, but I look around. So, um, ovunque, everywhere, il guardo, again, G-U-A, gua, gua, guardo, it's like guano, guano, okay? Guardo, guardo. Um, today, when we say guardo, it means I'm looking, I'm looking, it's a verb, io gu guardare, it's to look, hmm? so, or, or to watch, hmm? so, ovunque il guardo, so, it's like guano, but you have to say guardo, guardo, when we say that somebody's angry here, we say, that uh, he, he makes a noise like grrr, like this. So you can try. Grrr, grrr, grrr. Okay, so ovunque il guardo, 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 io, I turn. 
I, io, giro, giro. You try. Ovunque, careful with the nasal sound of the N, ovunque, il guardo, io giro. Ok. Le tue vaghe, le tue vaghe. Sembianze. Again, we have another N that sounds a little nasal and also a Z. Zs are very important to, to focus on because um, sometimes I can hear Anglo-Saxon people saying Sembianze, Z, Z. We also have this Z, but it's not, but you have to know where you have to use it. And in this case, it doesn't sound good at all. It really ruins your pronunciation, your singing. So, try. Le tue vaghe sem, sem, bian, se, se, se. Like the it's sound. It's raining. It's. This is the Z in this case we use. So we have two Zs in Italian. The Z and the Z. The Z, Z, Z and the Z, Z, Z. Try it. Z, Z, Z. Uh, for you, it's, it's more like a TS. So in our, uh, in our uh, pronunciation, it is a Z. So... Uh, one of the two. Hmm? So, <clears throat> le tue vaghe, vaghe. When after a G you have an H, it's not a G sound, it's a G sound. Le tue, le tue, careful with the T, T, T. Le, le tue, le tue, le tue, vaghe, vaghe. Let's try sembianze, okay? Sem, it's not zem, it's s, s, s. Sem, bian, in this case we can, you can hear like the n, bian, it's just pronounced just a little bit, it's kind of a nasal, very fast sound. Sem, bian, se. Let's try. Sem, bian, se. Again. Sem, bian, se. Okay, let's do it. Oh, let's do all the old sentence. Le tue vaghe sembianze. Le tue vaghe sembianze. I always say I, uh, that when you have to articulate fluently, you work on the vowels. But when you have to make yourself understood, you have to work on the consonants. Le tue vaghe sembianze Amore in me dipinge Il mio pensier si finge Le più liete speranze be careful here we have again spe ran se it's not speran z, z, z. so be careful because here again we have a word that is speranze and uh, um, in Italian we have words that sounds with that with the z the final z that is z, z like ro romanza the romanza or the novel in Italian is romanzo, romanzo. But words like sembianze and speranze end with z, 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 okay? So, amore in me dipinge. So, the, the, the old sentence is ovunque il guardo io giro, you, Le tue vaghe sembianze, amore in me dipinge. 
il mio pensier si finge. This is a rhyme, makes it quite easy for the pronunciation. Il mio pensier, il mio pensier, again an N that is quite nasal and very short. Pensier, pensier, the, il pensiero in Italian is the thought. So, il mio pensier si finge, mge, le più, più, più. This is more. The word più is more. Don't say it più because this is the, this is the sound of a chick. Più, 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 più. So, you have to say le più. I have, you also have the, 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 the graphics stress so you can do it easily. But in any case, even some Italians um, pronounce it pio because the E is more for somebody is easier than the U. And so they say pio, but it sounds pretty bad. So you have to, it, it's funny, you know. So le più, try le più. Le più liete, le più liete, liete. De, liete, please, le più liete, speranze, try, speranze, so, le più liete speranze, you will hear this word liete is uh, very often also pronounced liete, liete, because a lot of singers uh, that are from the north of Italy, they pronounce it with the e, e, with an e like this. So the the correct pronunciation should be liete, but I'm I'm one of those who pronounce it liete. You will hear it often, so don't feel surprised. Le più liete speranze e nel desio. Here we have two that are pronounced S, that are pronounced Z, Z, Z. So, in this case, S is pronounced like a Z. Mm. E nel desio, desio, it's like desire, this is the word is the same, same root of the word. Desio, desire, desio. E nel desio, che così, che così. Another S that sounds Z, careful. E nel desio che così mempie. Careful, here you have, we have two M, very close. Mem, mem, it's like memory, memory. Me, but, but not like memory because mem, you have a, a, an open E. Me, mem, mem, meme. It's like mem. Mem, 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 mempie. Mempie, it fills, it fills my chest. So, uh, mempie, 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 il petto, mempie, il petto. Remember the double T, again we have it, petto, the, sus the suspense sound, you know. So, e nel desio che così mempie il petto. Cerco, in, cerco te. Here we have the two C. In Italian we, we can pronounce a C. C or C. And here in the word cerco, the verb cercare means to look for. Um, cer, cerco te. I'm looking for you. And uh, we have cerco. Cerco. Try. Cerco. Cerco te. Cerco te. Chiamo te, I call you, chiamo te, spero, I hope, spero, e sospiro, try, sospiro, I sigh, hmm? so, cerco te, chiamo te, Spero e sospiro. Sospiro.
Don't cut the O, the final O. Sospiro. Same O. Sospiro. Okay. Um, spero is another word like lieto. It's very uh, common to hear it pronounced spero. Spero, spero. Spero is the right pronunciation, the correct um, diction. But a lot of people say spero, spero, I hope, spero. And it is a very common word. So you will, you will hear a lot of singers, a lot of singers saying spero, e sospiro, even because it's easier for them to feel what they are saying. So I think that in, in certain, uh, certain words are pronounced um, correct uh, because they sound be better when you sing, but others, they come from the, the, the spoken pronunciation and so in a way you could choose the one you like most because uh, you are free to choose in this case. Um, I'm telling you which is correct, but uh, I mean, um, you could have heard for a lot of time the, some other singers, some other very famous singers pronouncing it differently, and so you, you could feel it better the other way. This is a diction matter, not a singer, a singing matter. So uh, you can choose. Okay, singers, I really hope you found this video useful and uh, please, if you want to like it, subscribe my videos and my channel and uh, let me know if you really need something specific. Good singing, everybody. Bye-bye.